So not too long ago, DayZ dropped a new update. And as you can see, they added a grenade launcher. This comes with explosives that can be used for raiding. And we'll go over that later on in the video. But these grenade launchers, they kill everything. Just a few hours ago, they dropped the patch note for the update. As you can see, it's up here on the screen. I won't go through too much. I'll leave a link to these and I'll show these at the end. So you can have a read. Feel free to pause at any time and have a look. But nonetheless, let's see what they added. And as you can see, we've got the Claymore, Toxic Grenades, Grenade Launcher, and multiple grenades including heavy explosives, toxic, and smoke grenades. And then we've got the improvised explosive device. So they're made from a protector case by combining an electrical kit with one of these. And then you can add your explosive inside grenades, smoke grenades, plastic explosive. And you can add either a remote trigger a kitchen timer or an alarm clock to set them on. We also have the fireworks. And they added the sawn off version of the Magnum Revolver, sawn off blaze, and the Derringer little pistols, which are chambered in 357. They're two shot, they take up two slots, so real tiny. And then lastly, we can now craft armbands out of flags and they keep the pattern on them. As well as adding new dynamic events with the trains. So in each of the carriages, they'll spawn more stuff. The same as a heli crash, so it'll be like high tier loot. Uh, they also allow us to have a more customizable, uh, I guess, controller support, uh, which is quite nice. We can choose which emotes we have on the hop bar or the wheel if you're on console. So I'm really glad they added this. So I did some tests with the blaze. So from 200 meters ranged, a standard non sawn off, it still shoots accurate. With the sawn off version, accuracy is lost. So at 200 meters, it is way off. I brought it into 175 and found it to be accurate there. So if you are going to use it as a sawn off version with a scope, cap yourself at 175 meters and you should be fine. One of, if not the greatest addition is the fireworks. So these you use a match or lighter, set these off, and zombies from the area will be drawn to them. They last 30 odd seconds, and it just looks unreal. But at night time it just lights the sky up, and if you're a player traveling the map and you heard these, you're gonna stop and have a look. And the new pistol they added, the Duringer, 357, chambered twice, and it only takes up a 1x2 space, so it's absolutely tiny, and it's going to be unreal on the coast. Nice little addition, glad to see it back. Comes in three colours, but the pink's grass. A real nice quality of life addition is now being able to turn flags into armbands. So as a group, or even if it's a solo, you can now run a flag on your flagpole at your base, and then have the same flag matching as an armband. So it's quite nice. I can see that really picking up for some groups. 
So I'm really glad they added that. So let's talk about raiding. So from the testing I've done, metal wall, wood wall, no difference with the claymore. Three claymores will get you through. But with the grenade launcher on a wooden wall, it takes five. So it'll take five shots of a grenade launcher to get through, three claymores to get through, or with the improvised, it'll take two plastic explosives in the same bomb to get through. So far the metal walls seem to be hit and miss, sometimes I'll get through in one, sometimes they won't, so I'm not sure if they're going to tweak that or if there's a positioning issue there, but I'll keep checking. This gets me excited for future updates, I've got a feeling base building is going to get a lot of love in the upcoming updates, whether they do an overhaul, they scrap this base building system and start fresh. Maybe they'll add a few more things to the current base building system. Maybe they'll increase the health. But with the addition of all these explosives they've added, they have to be going in this direction. So I'll be very curious on what you guys think. Let me know in the comments. And if you did like this video, please consider hitting the like button. Comment down below your thoughts. And please consider subscribing. And I'll see you in the next one.